hello hello welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're doing well i hope you will practice yoga with me uh, this is our new video for this month we will do some yoga sanas to open your hips so yoga poses to unlock hips the first one like you can see i'm sitting you can use easy pose first things you need to do you bend the left knee then you bend the right knee this is easy pose make sure that back are very straight or you can lift your feet a little bit half lotus pose or lotto pose however you prefer usually i start my yoga class uh, with this pose and i do some breathings so to open hips just keep a little bit knees down press the right one if you cannot reach to the floor you can press like this and you can feel the stretching in your hips so first pose we're gonna do we will do some cat and cow breathings we put hands on our hips head at the back we do inhale here on exhale we slide the hands towards the knees spine goes up head down closer to your chest exhale inhale let's do five breaths exhale down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down and one more inhale up exhale down now you can stretch yourself here a little bit you put hands over then elbows bring closer you cross your arms you make a fist put one above the other and head down inhale head up you can put the right leg straight and you keep the left foot here so we are sitting here you try to move the right leg as much as you can on the side now you grab the right foot with your right hand left hand on your knee you feel the hip here you're stretching the right one let's do the opposite this is just warm up left leg straight bend the right knee sorry about this noise you're stretching your left hip you feel the stretching here and let's go back to lotus position I hope now it's better. Again, you proceed the knees towards the floor. The next one where we can move our hips a little bit. We will connect fingers at the back. Open palms. We do inhale. Exhale. Let's go down towards the left knee. Inhale up. Exhale. We will do the other side. Inhale exhale down towards the right knee inhale up one more time exhale down inhale up and exhale down inhale up and twist your arms about your body the next one what we're gonna do is seated straddle pose and some variation you can do also before you go to this pose you can do Paschimottanasana simple here we go I want to sit here like you can see me inhale arms up sorry bugs around me exhale there we go now you open your legs as much as you can so you're moving 
your hips left and right you feel stiff here that's perfectly fine keep the spine straight you put hands as much as you can reach and slowly inch by inch on exhale let's go down towards our toes here we go three breaths here seated straddle pose if you can you can move your fingers down the heels it will open your hips even more three breaths here two And three one of the variation is to put hands down then you walk towards your left foot you're moving your hips here you can see how you're moving your hips you grab the left foot you pressing the head down forehead goes on your knee three breaths here two and three now head up you walk with your hands towards your right foot you grab the foot inhale exhale you put forehead on your knee and here we go walk back Stretch yourself forward, bring elbows closer, and press the head down. More you're pressing, more you feel your hips are opening here. Okay, so now we will do straddle hips rotation. We will put hands outside our legs and we will do rotation so you go back forward back left forward right back let's do three times one side and let's do the other one left back perfect perfect relax twist your arms around your body let's do one more time inhale on exhale grab our feet or wherever you can reach make sure that back are straight now move a little bit on the side like you open your hips you can see you can do better and now grab the toes okay keep the left leg straight bend the right knee bring closer here the right hand goes closer to your left hip we will just stretch our left hip now uh, sorry left uh, right hand goes uh, closer to your right hip we will stretch the left hip we do inhale we are lifting our hips up we are going on the left heel and right knee and here we go Stay here a little bit. Exhale down. Open the hips again. We will do the other side. Bend the left knee. Left hand, left hip. We do inhale. We are lifting hips up. We go on the right heel and left knee. exhale down let's go to seated 
straddle pose again open as much as you can inhale and exhale down perfect so let's go back to lotus pose from here we will go to camel pose go on your knees Separate your knees, one feet apart, to the same distance as your feet. Now, this is originally camel pose. We go to camel pose. <coughs> but we are not going to do camel pose. We will put hands on our hips and we will do hips rotation in a camel pose. So basically, you go at the back, then you go to the left and you do rotation with your hips. Now, the better is if you put feet together, because if you go at the back, you can move your hips more left and right. Let's do five circles, one side. And let's do the other one. Two, three, four, and five. Since we're already here, let's do camel pose. We will separate our feet the same distance as we separate knees and hips. And let's go to camel pose shortly. So inhale, right arm on the back, grab the heel left arm at the back grab the heel and then head at the down inhale up sit down between the heels if you can and relax a little bit you can cross arms in front of you, head at the back. Okay, our next pose is going to be low lunge, so stay here on your right knee. Left leg goes up. So basically, you put the left leg on the 90 degrees, you're not allowed to see your toes because of your, uh, <clears throat> because of your knee. You can move your knee a little bit at the back, and then you go down, up, down, up, down. Slowly till pleasant pain. Five times. Then you can grab the left knee with your left hand and open as much as you can. One. Watch your balance. Two. Three. Four. And okay let's put knees together let's do the other side we are going on our left knee right leg is straight on 90 degrees bend the knee on 90 degrees both hands on our hips and then we go forward one Two, three, four, and five. Now put the right hand on your right hip, uh, right knee, and you open knee on the side, and let's go forward. One, 
Dieu. Oui. Both knees together, sit down on our heels, cross our arms, and relax. Next asana, we will open your hips and unlock your hips. It's going to be lizard pose. So basically, let's go back on our right knee. Put the left leg, left foot forward. You open the foot a little bit on the thigh. So basically you separate, how to explain, uh, you separate your knees, you're not in one line, you're not aligned, you open the left foot and left knee on the side, so you have a space here inside to put your hands. So put your hands here, untuck the toes, this is going to be lizard pose, there we go. And then you're putting your hips down as much as you can. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, if you want to go lower, you go on your elbows. This is still lizard pose. And you're putting your hips down. Stay here, three breaths. Two. And three. Go up, put the knee down, bring both knees together. Let's do child pose, stretch, stretch the spine, head down. And let's do the other side. Let's go on our left knee, right leg forward, open the right foot a little bit on the side. Stay still on the mat, place the hands down, align the arms, align the elbows, shoulders, everything. You untuck the toes and you're lifting your left leg up. And here we go, go lower, the more you go lower, the more you're pushing the right knee outside, up, down, up down, up, down, up, down. Now if you want to go lower, you put elbows down and your hips goes down. Unlock your hips. Three breaths here. Let's go back. Put the left knee on the floor. Bring both knees together and let's go to child pose okay the last pose is extended big toe pose recline hand to big toes all in one so you need to lay down on your mat on your back you lie down, both legs straight, first we will do a circle with our left knee, so you do circle, you bend the knee in a circle as much as you can, so this is just to prepare yourself to see how open you can go. Now grab the knee and bring closer to your chest. Microphone. Now grab the big toe with your left hand. Right hand goes on your hip. Open up. And here we go. And the big toe. Now you can do some exercise, you move on the left, then you move to the right. 
then you move to the left again and right and left okay put the left leg down shake both legs let's do the other side first bend the right knee circle with the knee Grab the knee, bring closer to your chest. Now slide the right hand and grab the big toe. Left hand on the floor, on the left hip. Here we go. So let's go to the right, to the left. Basically you're massaging hips here. Or you can do reclined and to big hand toe pose you open as much as you can there we go and let's go up slowly release you can bring both knees on the chest get closer cross the feet you can massage your lower back here and it will help your spine to be massage and your hips since we are here i don't want to miss happy baby pose it's great pose for your hips so you separate your feet slide the hands inside grab the big toe and here we go happy baby pose you also massaging hips here if you go to the left to the right, to the left. Feels good. Or you can just stay in this pose. Cross the feet and let's sit down. I cannot skip this exercise without frog pose but we will do some modification here we will do frog pose but cat and cow pose so you separate your knees as much as you can then you put your feet down then you put hands down elbows down and you do cat and cow here This is how I lower I can go, but it's fine. So you do cow, cat, cow, cat. Exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. Okay, when you're done, Go back to child pose, sit down on your heels, head down, and relax. Get up, we will do inhale. Anjali Mudra, exhale down. I hope you like it, and I hope you will practice these yoga sanas to unlock your hips. On daily basis it's approximately 20 minutes so do your the best and open your hips thank you so much for watching bye bye